it's still day one in IoT. That means that there is a lot of innovation still happening. Much of this is becoming an ecosystem of companies working together to provide solutions. Philips has put IoT at the center of our strategy because we believe the more we can sense about a person, the more we know about a patient, the better we can care for them. The Internet of Things makes the invisible visible. We provide sustainable cleaning, sanitation and hygiene solutions to help the planet achieve a cleaner and healthier future. By doing analysis on very subtle patterns of behavior, we've been able to reduce crash rates in the oil and gas industry by over 56%. I think it's going to touch every aspect of our lives within the decade. I think how we shop will be different. I think how we receive goods will be different. I think how we will receive new information will be different. Streaming data or streaming information is useless unless you give it context and you make it actionable. Sensors are down 2x, bandwidth is down 40x, compute is down 60x. So now you have technology availability at an affordable cost with a business need of either making money or saving money and those two work streams coming together are really unleashing the IoT. We're really talking here about millions or billions of devices. Scale obviously becomes a challenge as well. This requires an integration of telemetry, smarts out at the edge of the network, and incredible algorithms on the back end. We have 21 petabytes of images. We're creating digital pathology, and a cancer study can be around a terabyte. So. You're talking about really, really big infrastructure to deal with that. We are looking for that skeleton to help us plug and play our innovations. From a business need perspective, people are seeing value in the information that can be created by the devices that they have within their industries and within their lives. It's going to help us actually to reimagine the way we serve our industries. I think there's two different ways of thinking about the Internet of Things. One is enhancing business process. The other way is to remotely control assets. We see a tremendous opportunity for IoT in really making a huge impact in people's lives. The value is not in the device itself. The value is the service that you deliver wrapped around the device. When you look at the requirements for things like food and water and energy, it's going to help address the most pressing challenges humanity is going to face in the future. The more we can sense, the more we understand it, the better we can control it. And I think it will open up a whole new world of innovation. I personally believe that the Internet of Things is the set of technologies that are going to allow us to accept the challenges and some of the social issues that are in front of us as a global economy.